The former Egyptian president showed up personally in the courtroom, defying rumors that he was too weak to attend. He'd been flown to the courthouse from a Cairo military hospital where he's been undergoing treatment. The court was called to order, but within seconds, the presiding judge called off the trial, much to the surprise of the audience. The court has decided to refer the defendants before this court to the Cairo Appeals Court because the presiding judge feels uneasy. Court adjourned. Chaos immediately broke out in the courtroom and protests also erupted on the streets of Cairo by both supporters and opponents of the former dictator. More than two years after his fall, Mubarak still divides Egypt. The relatives of the victims who died in the 2011 uprising expressed their satisfaction. They had accused the judge of being overly sympathetic toward the old regime. The corrupt judiciary has withdrawn. We are optimistic that one day an honest judge will give a just verdict. It could be months before the appeals court begins hearing the case. With Mubarak now 84 years old, Saturday's aborted trial has increased the risk that no one will finally be held accountable.